Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show how to make a phase shifter using an inductor instead of a capacitor. And yes, I think we can imagine that we'll have a shift in the other direction. Well, let's see what happens. When we put an inductor over here and a, and a resistor over here, notice that if the frequency is 200 Hertz, and we're talking about the angular frequency here, and the inductor is 0.1 Henry's, then the reactance across the inductor will be J20, 20 ohms in the positive 90 degree direction. So now the next thing to do is to find the impedance of the circuit. And of course, they're in series, so the impedance is easy to find. Z is equal to the resistance plus the, in the reactance of the inductor, which is J20. And you can see that they're the same magnitude, so then this is equal to uh, let's see here, 20, I think I'm going to need a calculator for that. That's uh, 800, take the square root of that, would be 28.28. Uh, 28.28, 28, which is the magnitude of these combined, and with an angle of 45 degrees. So now what we want to do is see what the voltage drop is across the inductor relative to the voltage input at the beginning of the circuit here. So we can see that this would be like a voltage divider. We can see that the voltage on the output is going to be equal to the voltage on the input times the ratio of the impedance across the inductor, basically the reactance, divided by the total impedance of the circuit. So this is going to be X sub L divided by Z. And so this is going to be the input voltage times the X sub L. Of course, that's the same over here. That's J20 divided by the total impedance Z, which is 20 plus J20. And of course, it makes a lot more sense to put that into the magnitude and angle format, so we can do the division. So this will be equal to the input voltage times the ratio of a magnitude of 20 with a positive angle of 90 degrees, divided by a magnitude of 28.28 with an angle of 45 degrees. Now we go ahead and divide the denominator into the numerator. So let's take the inverse of that, times 20, and that's indeed 0.707. So we see then that the output voltage is equal to 0 0.707, the input voltage, with an angle of 90 minus 45 or 45 degrees. So you can see that this now has a leading angle, so you have a phase shift in the positive direction instead of phase shift in the negative direction. Also notice that the magnitude of the output voltage is 0.707, the magnitude of the input voltage, and with a shaved, uh, phase difference of 45 degrees between the input voltage and the output voltage. And so that's what happens when you make a phase shifter using an inductor instead of a capacitor.